said, well done. That's the reason she's the president. <laughs>
who was afflicted with a tremendous ringworm. <laughs> it didn't take it. But I was worrying another bone. Do all lawyers defend Negroes, Atticus? Of course they do, Scout. Then why did Cecil say, say you defended niggers? He made it sound like you were on the still. Atticus sighed. I'm simply defending a Negro. His name's Tom Robinson. He lives in that little settlement beyond the town dump. He's a member of Calpurnia's church, and Cal knows his family well. She says they're clean living folks. Scout, you aren't old enough to understand some things yet. But there's been some high talk around town to the effect that I shouldn't do much about defending this man. It's a peculiar case. It won't come to trial until summer session. John Taylor was kind enough to give us a postponement. If you shouldn't be defending him, then why are you doing it? For a number of reasons, said Atticus. The main one is, if I didn't, I couldn't hold up my head in town. I couldn't represent this county in the legislature. I couldn't even tell you or Jim not to do something. Thank you.